I uh, welcome back to the Prize Picks video MLB edition. Of course, we have a busy 15 game slate today, so we don't want to mess around. In fact, I'm going to show you today. Last night was not great. I understand that two nights ago, fantastic. Last night, not great. We've had more better nights than not, so I'm okay going right back to the Odd Shopper Premium tool. Yes. We'll still give you a week off of that, but let's talk about prize picks first and foremost. I'm going to match your first deposit up to $100, and I'll give you a free month of Stochastic Plus. So let's look at what we have in front of us. Today, I'm going to show you on prize picks how to use this tool to build a four-leg power play. And that's all four of these legs have to hit. But look at that payout, 10x, 10x. All right, now let's build, folks. First and foremost, you can see what we have here. This is what we're playing with today on prize picks. Before we get to Big Bryce, all right, let us look at Rowdy, Rowdy Tellez. Mr. Tellez came through. Yet again, every time we play him, he comes through for us. So what Prize Picks has a couple of beatable props that we continue to go back to. Just getting a hit over a half bag and Ks. Staying under Ks more often than not. It's worked for us. I know last night did not two times over. My God, we go under four and a half Ks, a guy who has 10. It's not great. But five or 15, it doesn't matter. The bet loses. Tellez over a half bag right here against San Diego. You want to look at the matchup. It's not the easiest, of course, on the other side of it. But I'm also looking at Tellez, who has just been able to hit, and that's what we've consistently been attacking, guys who are hitting, and it doesn't even need to be in bunches. Yeah, Lugo's not no joke, but we'll take him and go over a half bag. Bryce Turang is another guy that I want to target in this game where we've seen him at bats. We're targeting guys with volume. That's it. Guys that are either consistent staples in the bottom of the lineup, meaning they're still going to get three to possibly four at bats or guys at the top of the lineup that no matter what the situation is, they're going to get four at bats. Unless of course they just get destroyed and that happens every now and again, but Bryce goes hitless against San Diego to open this up, but was hitting the ball pretty well coming into this and does have a multi-hit game in him, which, which is great because we just need one. But the fact that he's had three this month is a decent sign. We don't bet on that. We don't use that as an indicator. It just shows you that he is hitting the ball well, and it's not coming in bunches and then disappearing. So two hits, nothing last night against, or Thursday, pardon me, against... San Diego, but I like them here to get over a half bag against Lugo. And, and look, now we have two guys. You can take this for what it's worth. We have two guys hitting Lugo today. So maybe that's a little play with Milwaukee. Check out the locks video on here. I've got some deeper thoughts on this game. And maybe that's why I'm, I'm just subconsciously targeting what's going on here. All right. Those are your other two plays. Let me just show you real quick what's happening here with the odd shopper premium tool i'm going to give you a week off it's really simple we use this tool to hit we use this tool to identify good plays we play those plays and then we win it's simple and you're going to get a week free just for signing up which i don't know how much longer this is going to last but i would jump on this now all right let's get to miller and then we'll end with herman but as you see here the thing with brad miller this game is definitely the Rangers to lose. Yes, you're on the road in Houston, and you're going up against a one of their better pitchers, clearly, in Hunter Brown this year. I think the difference is that Texas comes in brimming with confidence. They've been able to hit opposing pitching, and Hunter Brown doesn't shut everyone out. You know, he's, he's going to be fine this year. You can look at the K rate. You can look at what he's been able to do so far. We just, all we need is Brad Miller to get on the bag, something he's done in each of the last two, of course. There are walks involved. That's a casualty of these props. There are walks. 
you only have two at bats in each of those last two games. And he really had to maximize that because he was getting walked. Now that's Kansas city. We'll see what Hunter Brown does. If he has the bravado to go after him tonight, but we're taking a bag. We're taking one bag with Brad Miller. Domingo Herman is how we end here. And this game against Minnesota, we saw a lot of offense, and then we saw them just get by. Of course, the Yankees were on the wrong side of that lot of offense. Herman's been out there twice. It's been truly feast or famine. Depending on the matchup, I guess you can argue, depending on who he's going up against, like the Phillies, for example, he fans eight, and that was at the time in which opening up the season, the Phillies were just a disgrace. I mean, they still strike out, but at that point, it was just so awful. So awful. And then he comes right back against a team in Cleveland who isn't striking out nearly the way that the Philadelphia Phillies were. Doesn't get a strikeout at all. So where is Minnesota right now? I mean, Minnesota's kind of on the bottom end, if you will. They've, they've got some Ks in them. But how long is Domingo Herman going to be in here? 4.2 innings, three innings? Eh, I don't know. Minnesota is hitting in this series. They may not be winning as far as last night, but they are hitting. So, uh, no, they did win. I'm just saying, like, the offensive explosion they needed to win on was that Thursday. I don't know. I don't I don't feel confident that Herman's going to be out there long enough to get six K's. And we have a 54% chance of this hitting. Lock it up, folks. There's your four-leg power play on the diamond for prize picks. All right? Have a great weekend.